Hi, I'm Gail from Bernina of Naperville, and I just wanted to tell you that I am standing in front of the Bernina 475 Quilters Edition and the Bernina 480. Now, we get a lot of questions about what the differences are between these two machines. Well, first of all, the 480 does have that improved uh, Bernina foot pedal that allows you to have the heel tap feature that puts the needle down and brings the needle up, and it also has the nine millimeter wide stitch capability whereas the 475 does five and a half millimeter. Well, what does that mean, Gail, is a question that we get a lot. So the purpose of this tutorial is to show you what are the benefits of nine millimeter over five and a half millimeter. And I'll show you a little bit on this bag as we get started. Before we get started, I wanna talk a little bit about the different uh, presser feet that I'm gonna use this evening. So first of all, right here on our 475, the 475 has the five and a half millimeter capability and the feet that you can do five and a half millimeter with are just the normal Bernina full shank presser feet like this. Now, when I pop on over to the Bernina 480, you're gonna see me using a foot like this. Now, this is the foot with that magic eyeball on it, and the magic eyeball is gonna tell the machine that it's okay to use a stitch that is nine millimeters wide. So, uh, for this demonstration, I am using 39 for our 475 and 39C for the 480. And these, these feet actually have a little bevel underneath that allows it to go over satin stitching and over the decorative stitching a little bit more easy than the number one foot. If you see this number one foot, it's just got a little bit of a bevel there, but the 39 foot has deeper bevel to go over thicker stitching. It's also got some red marks on it to line up stitches perfectly. And even when we get into doing more sophisticated things, down the road, it's got a little hole right here. And this is uh, gonna allow you to do corded scallops for some off the edge techniques. And it's also gonna kind of work a little bit for doing some gathering, which we'll do in other classes. So let's get started using our decorative stitches on the Bernina 475. And here's a pro tip for you. The 39 foot does not have a slot in it to get your thread under the foot, but I put the foot the needle through the needle opening right there, pull my thread through, then I put the foot on. Easy peasy. Use some tear away stable stick stabilizer on this Essex linen. And I'm just going to do a couple stitches to show you what five millimeter stitching looks like on the Bernina 475. It's actually five and a half millimeter, but let's just do a stitch. So the stitch that I'm working on right now is the tulip stitch, that's stitch number 101. And I'm just going to get started here. I'm gonna slow my motor speed down because I'm sewing without my foot control. Don't forget when you get to the edge of your stitching to press your little pattern end button and you can stop and cut. So that was stitch 101 on the Bernina 475. Now I've moved over to the Bernina 480 and the 480 has the nine millimeter stitch capability and I've selected the same stitch, stitch number 101, which is this little tulip stitch. Now, the reason why I brought the stitching that I did on the 475 over to the 480 is I literally wanted to show you the difference in these two stitches. So I'm gonna lower my presser foot. I'm also lining up my little red marks where my tulips started and I'm ready to start sewing. Don't forget about your pattern end feature and the cutter. 
Now I'm going to lift the presser foot and I want to show you the difference in those two stitches. Now, one benefit with the 480 is you can see the tulip has a lot more detail stitches to it. Another benefit is if I wanted a small tulip, all I would have to do is reduce the size of my stitch and I could create that same look, but I cannot do that with the 475 and create this large look. Back at our Bernina 475, I've selected another stitch. I selected stitch number 730 that does this loop and then a loop and then a loop. Well, I am actually gonna use our combi mode. You've seen me do this a couple of times now. Uh, we have the Decorative Stitch Clinic 1 and the Decorative Stitch Clinic 2. So if you've watched those, you might've seen something similar. But what I wanted to show you are the differences when you do this on your five and a half millimeter machine like this 475 versus the nine millimeter like the 480. And my public service announcement here, everybody, is that these features can also be used on your other Bernina machines like the five series, the seven series, and even the eight series. So I am going to open up my memory bank and I'm going to select stitch number 730 two times. And you see here that one is white and one is blue. The blue one is the active one. So now I'm gonna go into the I button and then I'm gonna mirror my blue one and see how that turned. And that's all I'm gonna do. So now what I wanna do is stitch this stitch. Let's have a look at the same stitch combination stitched out on our Bernina 480 with the 9mm stitch capability. See the difference? Much larger. Okay, now I want to show you that extra special thing that I told you you're not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to stand it when you see the super cool thing. So first off, I have put a double needle in my machine and I'm going to go in here to my security program and tell it about my 2.5 millimeter double needle that I put on the machine. And look what it did. That's our last little loop-de-loop -loop stitch we stitched. Look at that, it's amazing, but it's not nearly as amazing as this stitch that we're gonna do right now, which is stitch number 402. So if you look here on the screen, that's exactly what this stitch is gonna look like. Now, I do have a little bit of um, lack of wiggle room here with the five and a half millimeter and these uh, two and a half millimeter double needle but let me just stitch this because i think you're gonna like it and just so you don't think you're going crazy do not adjust your tv everybody or i guess they use compute you use computers now but i have red in one needle and gray in the other so now we're gonna get this thing going here by pressing my stop start button How do you like them apples, huh? Looks pretty cool, don't you think? Let's see what it looks like on the Bernina 480 with that nine millimeter wide stitching. 
Okay, so we're back. I've set up our Bernina 480 with that double needle security function that you saw me do on the 475. I now am able to take my two and a half millimeter wide double needle and go six millimeters wide. So that's going to give me just a little bit more definition on this stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and so I'm going to go ahead and get started. And just do this stitch next to our previous rows. Now, look at the difference. That is just, I think this looks like trim. It looks like Rick Rack. You know what? If you did something like this, I don't think you'd ever have to go to the right section and buy Rick Rack again. For our final exercise, you can see here that I have picked stitch number 711. Now, I'm going to do a different thing here with our security function because I'm actually using a wing needle. So now I'm going to select wing needle there, close. And I don't know if you noticed, but our little 711 stitch got a little bit narrower. And if we zoom in here, you can see a wing needle actually has wings. And it's going to make a hole in the material as we stitch. So I'm going to go ahead, just like I've done before, and get that needle in my foot there. And I'm going to get started now. I'm going to lower my presser foot and I'm going to start stitching. Now, when you use a wing needle, it's good to have a stitch that kind of goes back on top of itself, like this asterisk stitch that we're using. I'm kind of stitching this a little crooked, so forgive me. It is a Saturday night after all. <laughs> And you can see those little holes that are created with that stitch. Woo! Peekaboo! <laughs> All right, let's try the same thing on the Bernina 480. Okay, I've made the same adjustments to my Bernina 480 as I did with the 475. I've got my wing needle selected. I have stitch number 711 selected, and you can see I'm still able to do a fairly wide stitch. And just because I feel like I didn't show you this little wing needle well enough earlier, I thought I'd show it to you before I put it in the machine right here. It looks a little bit like an arrow. And I'll tell you something, those of you that have stitched through your finger, you don't want to do it with this guy. I also want you to know that you're not going to be able to use your needle threader with the wing needle. So get out the cheaters, get out your binoculars, Don't forget about my little trick where we slip that through. There we go. All right, so we're ready to stitch this little guy. So we're going to stitch this right next to our previous stitching. Now look at that beautiful stitch. Look, peekaboo. I'm not sure I need to ask this question, but which one would you rather sew with? I know, it's obvious. The bigger one. Arr. Yeah, we love it. Some people think that the nine millimeter wide machines do not do piecing as well, but I have been using a nine millimeter wide capability machine for probably close to 25 years and I really haven't had an issue. There are some key things to make things you know work optimally for you. Now of course the Bernina 475 with the five and a half millimeter stitch width comes with the number 37 patchwork foot but the 480 all you need to do is get 
a straight stitch needle plate, which is this little needle plate with the hole in it just there, and you can only do a straight stitch. And that really helps stabilize this opening here so that when your needle penetrates that hole, you're gonna have full stability <laughs> for the fabric and it won't dip that fabric in there. Also, I would recommend the 97 foot because the 97 foot is designed perfectly for the wider feed dogs. And so in combination with the 97 foot and the straight stitch foot, you will have success every time piecing on your nine millimeter wide machines. Well, that's all I have to show you today. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you'll try something new. And hey, if you already have a nine millimeter wide machine, crack out that double needle, crack out a wing needle, and do something fun. I mean, sewing is fun and it's enriching and it's so wonderful when you make something awesome. So until then, we'll see you next time. Oh, I almost forgot. If you like watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel youtube.com slash Bernina of Naperville, and you are encouraged to like, comment, and subscribe. If you wanna get an alert every time we upload a video just like this one, click the little bell, and guess what? You'll get that notification. So, really this time, until next time. See ya.